I posted a video about this book I read called uh, Project Hail Mary, but I didn't get very specific about what I liked about it. Um, I think the excessive scientific terminology is ex is excessive. It's a lot all the time, and especially when you're listening at like three times the speed, it's out of control. <laughs> but I can listen to like three or, four, three or four chapters at a time. I really like the alien. I like, I don't know, is that a giveaway to talk about what it happens in the story? Um, what I enjoyed the most was the inner monologue of the character. I'm not really sure if he was speaking all the time outside or if it was all inside of his head or whatnot. Um, the flashbacks are really well done. I don't know how I knew it was a flashback, but it didn't confuse me very much every time it happened. It happens like once every chapter. Um, the character development I thought was very good. I really enjoyed listening to his own thoughts about himself. And it reminded me a lot of Samuel Beckett's company, where it starts with, I think Samuel Beckett's like this poet. I don't know too much about him, but I know he's like this master writer and his meters are like perfect and you can write really long stories that all kind of rhyme and have like this really beautiful rhythm uh, but it opens company opens with and then there was a voice and that's kind of how the story opens it gets right into the mix of what like the drama and it doesn't really hold you in this place of oh this is who this person is and who, you know and developing characters and and scenes you know telling you what a room looks like for three pages before it finally gets to what what's happening in the room type stuff. Anyway, it's really good in that sense. And it moves really, really quickly. And somehow, some way, it went right where I wanted it to go. Sometimes these stories are really safe and they do the obvious thing. When he decided to go back to to help the alien that he knew was in trouble and to see how excited the alien got and that bond and the fact he, okay, I'm giving away the whole freaking book, but then he ended up there on the planet that the alien was from and he became like this person in this little bubble inside of that atmosphere uh, who became a fellow scientist pretty much or also a teacher um, to the aliens, which are like spider-like looking beings. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I just, there's just, it's just really, really good. I really love the story. It's very warm. Um, and I don't know, are, there, are real people like that? Do people like him exist where they think scientifically all the time? I mean, I know he had to because he's in a tight pinch. Uh, and then him rediscovering who he is was really awesome. I, I think that was the most important part to me is I kind of was just, on the same journey of figuring him out as he was figuring himself out. That was very cool. I know this isn't the most cleanest like way to talk about how a book is like written and uh, maybe a lot of like, uh, I'm saying like a lot. There's a lot of giveaways as I speak about this. So I feel bad about that, but it's a good book. It's really good. Uh, by the, again, I'm gonna go ahead and invest in the Martian because I think the writer is one of my favorites. See, I got this thing where I find writers I really like and I just stick with them. Um, Benioff's one of them. Uh, O'Connor, I really like. Uh, as you know, I've said this before. I have my list on. The, I go through my list all the time. I'm not going to go through it. There's, you know, I I read some of um, Andrew Clavin's stuff simply because I'm a fan of Daily Wire and I like what Clavin does on his shows. And he is... He hits a little too close to home for me. Like, he... He he makes me upset. <laughs> and the reason why he upsets me is because he goes right into the places that I don't want to go. And he just goes for it. And it really frightens me sometimes. I can't explain it. But... And he's got that parallel universe thing where this character is in two different places at once sometimes. Like, The Kingdom. I think he wrote this thing called The Kingdom. Gosh, I forgot the name of the book. My goodness. It's this big series that you can listen to. And it's just too close for me. And it upsets me when I listen to it. It, it 
kind of gives me a little out of body experience sometimes. It's very bizarre, but I like Levin. He's very cool. Um, who else? Uh, I don't know. I've done my list before here, but it's not a very long list. And they usually are, strangely enough, Jewish. Very weird. And New Yorkers. And I don't know how. Palakanos. He's another one. George Palakanos. And then, um, also, I believe he's Jewish. And a New Yorker. Oh, it's very weird. I have this weird tendencies. Um, anyway, this is Linda of Christ's King Forever. May God be with you.